Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and visiting with me. Today we're going to go over um, the, maybe my, it's called my move-in or just how I'm using my Erin Condren planner. I know some people have asked for me to do a video to show how I'm using my Erin Condren planner. And I also wanted to show you this sticker book that just came in. I know people don't, some people don't like to use stickers in their, um, in their planner sometime. Well, especially if they're, you know, trying to focus on things and sometimes the stickers can be a lot to add and decorate and stuff like that. So there's the difference between a functional planner and then also a decorative planner. But I did want to show you these cause these are absolutely beautiful. And then we'll dive into this so you can kind of see how I use mine and I don't use a lot of stickers. Um, but I do use some so that when I come back, it's already decorated and I really don't have to worry about it when I start doing my planning. So first we're going to open up this, um, the sticker book and take a quick look at this. Now these are stickers straight from Erin Condren. So when you go in and you order your, uh, planner, which I'll also have a $10 off coupon down at the bottom if you'd like to order one. You can also order one of these. These are um, books that have stickers that, um, I'm trying to think of the right words. <laughs> They're straight from Erin Condren and you can use them in your planner. You don't have to go to Etsy or anything like that. Not that Etsy's bad because they do have wonderful stickers there too, but um, these are straight from there. So you can order them all at one time and they all come together. So she has some here with quotes. And again, these are functional stickers and those other ones that are decorative. So you do kind of whatever it is that you want to in your planner. And there's hexagons and a lot of these flags here, people use those to kind of make um, things stick out. And they're beautiful. They have this gold foil on them, really pretty. And then here are some quotes as well. And I think these are really great for inspiration, things like that, like dare to dream. And the goal is to be better than, isn't to be better than anyone else, but to be better than you used to be. So there's this sheet is wonderful. And then you have like celebrating birthdays and things like that to do as soon as possible. So you do have some functional elements in here. These strips here are washi strips and I'll show you some of those in my um, planner that I have to show you today but that's pretty much how the um, sticker book goes with washi page flags boxes and then you have this and I'll show you where people are using this I think no I'll have to do that on another one because I added it to um, Another, I have a business planner as well, so I use these for goals on my business planner that I can show you that later. And these two can be used to highlight things that are happening in your planner. And also here's some more page flags. And again, it is, it's all to be very just, um, you know, colorful, add some color to your planner. Cause I have a neutral planner, which has no color. Well, it has a little bit, but it has no color in it. So, um, and I wanted it that way so that when I add color, I can add my own color. It's my own choice. So I don't have to go buy a certain color and that will be in another planner, um, video too. And so that's it, but that is a quick look at some of the stickers from just this book. This is one of the newest one. It has this kaleidoscope, um, theme on it. That's how you know it's new. So let's get into the actual planner. So again, this is the 18 month, um, 18 month planner. And uh, I don't use that many stickers, but, uh, this will go from now until December, 2020. And I also have rose gold coil, which has kept up very well. Some people were saying that it was kind of chipping off it and it's, beautiful to me it's it's still very 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 nice as much as i have it banged around and everything like that my cover so on the inside i have over here which you might have seen in a quick snippet of another video this is what i have in my planner bag 
and you can write on this. This is dry, wet, dry erase. So you can use that. Um, these are just sticky notes. And these also come from Erin Condren that you can purchase these and they clip right in on your binder right here, your bond, your coil, sorry. <laughs> these are co called coil clips. I am messing up my words today. These are, these are called coil clips. This is your coil and they just clip right into there. Now this is from a long time ago. Um, Aaron Condren used to have these little pockets that came and they used to be right in the planner, but they've since taken them out. So now you can purchase the little, um, the pockets here and then use the coil clip and then you can put them back in your planner. So this, I just have cards, little medical cards, and then, um, some stickers and some stamps. You can use whatever you want to use. And this is um, vellum that is supposed to go, it, when it comes, it comes so that you can see the first page has your name on it. And then this vellum goes over it. But I put in this pocket right here because um, I have some receipts and stuff like that. And then if you remember, that's a picture of my husband in high school. Um, just some receipts and stuff like that. So I have an extra pocket here for that. This is the front of the planner, and this is where you put your name. I don't think I have the best handwriting, so I just type this up so that I can put that in there. <laughs> and this right here is just quotes. Every one of these will have quotes. So like every month, they'll have another inspirational quote. Just like this. And so that's what that one is. And then you get into the month. So you'll have the entire, like from July, 2019 to December, 2020, which encompasses this entire planner. Okay. And what I've done is I've just gone through and marked off birthdays. Um, this is my vacation. We're going to Europe. I can't wait. Um, and so this is, this is just, you can put, use it for anything. So I use it for birthdays to kind of keep track of uh, family birthdays and stuff like that. And by the way, I did not mention, this is just my home planner. This is uh, kind of like my catch-all. This is my home. This is appointments, all that sort of stuff. So this is just my home planner. I do have another one for business and then I have another one for social media. Um, so that's what that is. And this is, this page I've kind of was playing around with to see how I wanted to use it. And these are little, um, sunflower stickers. I got those from Walmart, I believe like a while ago. So I was just trying to play around with it to see how I wanted to use, um, the notes page and, or this is, this is an old notes page that I brought over, I think from another planner. Maybe that's why it's so old. Um, but this is how I wanted to use it is kind of have goals and um, things like that for uh, for that month, personal, spiritual, home projects, and my family. So those are some things that I have. Now, in the back of every Erin Condren planner, there is a pocket that has, it. so there's a pocket like this, and then there's a pocket here on the back. This is usually in the very back of your planner. I removed it and put it to the front of my planner and I put it just before the month starts because all of this that's here is just stuff that I need. All of this is just stuff that I need. So I kind of wanted it to carry everything there, you know, everything that I need to have there. And then here is where I start my actual planner. Okay. So this is July. And what I've tried to do in here is to figure out kind of how I want to use it because it's it is like moving into a new planner how you want to how you want to use it. And uh, this year I'm focusing on meal planning, so you see a lot of this going on. And then um, I was gonna <clears throat> excuse me, I was gonna start to use this as my business planner and then change my mind. So this one I'm gonna use um, meal planning. I don't know if I'm going to do videos about it. I don't think so, but I think I am going to find videos about it and, um, kind of like put down who I 
go-to for videos to figure things out as far as meal planning. I've always made meals and stuff like that, but I've never really planned meals. So that's why that's a, that's a big deal to me. Um, and then I'm not sure how I'm going to use this. Um, one of the ladies who I love to get stickers from is Planner Kate. She has a habit tracker that goes in the spot right here. And I'm not sure I'm going to use it that way. That's why I have that there because I'm not sure how I want to use this yet. So then here is a look at my month. And this is what I mean by decorative versus functional. So what I'll do in the beginning or the actually the end of one month is I will come in and I will decorate. So this up here is decorating this here on the side that's decorating and that's all that I do for it is this and this and then these are just dates that are from the um from the other month so the only thing that shows here is the date the month of July and this is my monthly view <clears throat> excuse me and it's just an overview kind of an overview of what will be going on within the weeks and then this is uh, it's nothing fancy. I just use the stickers to kind of highlight what I have going on and Like my husband's routes where he's going stuff like that and Brainstorming sessions and things like that birthdays yada yada. So that's what that is and then over here on the sidebar I just kind of have things that I need to need to do and then this is my weekly view and the weekly view is horizontal and hourly. I mean, horizontal, a vertical and hourly. That was great. <laughs> so this is actually an hourly vertical. I had to get it straight. <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> you have Monday through Sunday and some people are kind of, they make this go Monday through Sunday since this is Monday through Sunday. I I don't think it really bothers me. That doesn't bother me. Um, I forgot to put my dates in like one, two, three, four, but we know that this is the fourth. So, so what I do is I go in and I write out everything as it pertains to home or things like that. I go in and I put in everything that happens or that needs to happen for that day. I haven't done Tuesdays yet because it's all on a sticky note, which look like this. This is an old one, but this is what the sticky notes look like. And you put them over here on the side and then you write out everything that you want to write out for that day. So if I have this here and I'm just jotting down notes, then if plans change, then I can, um, you know, I can change them before I write them down in here and then make a big mess. We don't want to do that. So anyway, this is Monday, everything that happened on Monday. There's some odds and ends that I put in that I want to get done, calls to be made. And then down here is what I'm doing. I'm just going to fold this back over. If you can see is meal planning, what I want to have um, for dinner things that I want to have for dinner. And then also, um, you know, if you wanted to, you could do this for breakfast or you could do it for lunch. Um, but I just put dinner on those. Um, the other thing that I do here is I do planning Monday through Friday. So that's why you have the today and then what you're going to do on that day. And then the weekend is separated by the little sticker and then the things that I do for the weekend. So this is kind of my layout. This is how I have it laid out um, to my specifications, I guess how I would like to see it done. And what I would suggest for people who are just starting out like me is to watch videos and to see if there is someone that does it so that you know, like, like you're not copying, you wouldn't be able to copy them, <clears throat> but you could get ideas from them of how you want it done. And for me looking at it, I want to be able to look at it and know exactly where it is that, you know, I have this planned or this planned or something too much on here 
might get you like confused and you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So, um, this is what a regular week looks like. This looks like this is a blank week and you don't have to use stickers at all. You can have it look, have it be as plain as this. It goes from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. And you can write in whatever it is that you want. It doesn't have to be decorative at all. You're just filling in your appointments or filling in what you what it is that you have to do. This is just let you know what month you're in. And this down here is just a look at the dates of the month in a glance. You can have this as a to-do list. So it's really, really wide open to how you want to use it. And from this, this is super simple. There's a lot of white space here, a lot of open space here. You can do, be as decorative or as functional as you want. So this, okay, this is another month. This is what it also looks like in the, in the beginning of the month, which is, I don't know, oh yeah, which was this month. And I just covered up, you know, covered up the date and kind of did some other things that I wanted to do. And then this will be August. So August, you know, is like two months, is next month now that we're in July. This is what I, this is all I do is I go in, I put this in, I have my checklist on the side and then I'll fill it in once I get closer. I'll fill it in with, um, I'll have post-it notes and I put my post-it notes down on what needs to be done that month. And then I'll come, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll come back in and then I'll put it in pen. I know that here on the 4th, there's a wedding. Um, and so I'll be going to that wedding. So that's why I have that there. So that is pretty much all I have in here so far. In the back, there are, um, there's notes pages. There are decorative pages. This, this right here is my page that I'm, learning how to do my meal planning here. So this is, these are happy planner stickers in an Erin Condren. So these are happy planner. And then I'm just kind of doing something a little decorative with that. They, those are my password sheets. And let's see, I think that's it. This is the next year. So this is 2021. I haven't gotten into that yet. And that's it. I have a little pen hoop loop right there. And that is my planner. That is how I'm using my home planner. Um, I will come back with another video. I'm going to show, um, show some other supplies, my favorite things to use in my planner. Um, because I think that's really helpful for people who are just starting out, <clears throat> excuse me, starting out just using their planner. Um, and with this being a new planner year, I believe that there's a lot of people that are going to be trying to use a paper planner. And so I think that'll be useful. So I'm going to try to do a, a video like that. Um, if you guys want to see any other kinds of videos on planner related, just let me know. Okay. You can let me know down in the comments. That'd be cool. All right. Well, you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate you being here at my channel. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button so that you'll be able to be notified when I do come up with more um, planner related videos and the notification bell, that little bell that's down there, because that'll let you know when my videos go live. Okay. So have a great day and you guys have a fabulous fourth. See you later. Bye-bye.